Hi, this is flute lesson four for the right band method. Today we're going to be putting your flute together. Take out your flute case. If you're sitting down, place the flute case in your lap. Today I'll be standing at a table. Make sure that your flute case label is on the top so the flute pieces do not fall out when you open it. Open the latches carefully. You're going to take out just the middle portion of your flute. The middle portion has all of the keys. You want to be very careful not to press or squeeze or hold these keys too tight. You don't want to bend the rods or we also don't want any of the springs to pop off. So you take out the middle portion, then you're only going to take out the head joint. Without pressing the keys very carefully, place your hand at the top and put the head joint on. The tone hole is going to line up with this long row of keys. Turn it flat so you can look and see to make sure that it lines up properly. Then you're going to take out the foot joint. The foot joint goes on the end of the flute and you want to look at this rod that is right here on the end. This screw should be directly in the middle of this bottom key. Notice that rod moves up and this screw is in the middle of that key. That all the keys go straight up and they line up with the tone hole. Let's talk about how we're going to hold the flute today. The flute is going to turn to the right side of your body. You're going to take your left hand and put your left hand out as if you're going to shake someone's hand. On the back of the flute, we have a place for your thumb. Place your thumb on the back rectangle key. There is a round key, but we will not use that right now. We're going to just use the flat rectangle piece. We also know that at the bottom of our index finger, we have this bottom joint here. The side of that is going to be where you're going to rest the flute. Watch how I do that. My thumb, then I'm going to rest the flute right against that bottom joint. This direction, I can see that my pointer finger, my index finger is sticking up, ready to be placed on the second key. You will not be using the first key, but the second key. Then you're going to skip one, go to the fourth key, then the fifth key, and your pinky, your fifth finger, will be on the A-flat key. This will help us hold it. You're going to make sure that your thumb is bent in the back so you are holding the back of the flute firmly. There are many times when playing the flute you may only be using one or two fingers and that thumb is going to help you to hold it securely. Let's talk about the right hand. With my students I like to talk about that this is our cheeseburger hand as if we were going to hold a cheeseburger. So I always remind them are your cheeseburger fingers correct on the top? We want to make sure we're using the cushion part of our fingers. So on the bottom, we have three keys in the middle section. We want to place finger one, two, three, right on top. Make sure it's centered and the thumb comes right underneath. It looks like you're holding a cheeseburger. So we're holding the cheeseburger with our flute. We know that it's secure. And your fifth finger, the pinky, can go right on top of the E-flat key. Later, your fifth finger will be using these keys, but right now we're only going to be using this small E-flat key. So your fingers should be lined up this way. My thumbs are on the bottom. I'm holding this tightly. I'll have it secure in case I need to let go. I can place my other hand correctly. It's formed on the top. A lot of times I tell my students that this index finger forms a C. And we have a note called a C that we'll be using with that key. 
So there's my C and the thumbs on the back. Again, you're going to skip a key and go to key four, key five, and the A flat pinky key. Then on your right hand, the bottom three keys, one, two, three, and your fifth finger goes on the E flat key. Your thumb comes underneath as if you're holding a cheeseburger. And now you're ready to make a sound on your flute. But before we do that, we also want to talk about how to take apart the flute. The first thing you want to do is make sure that you set your flute in a safe place, either on your lap or on a table. Never set your flute on the floor, it may get stepped on, but we want to have it in a safe place. Inside of your flute case, you have a cleaning rod. Yours may look different than mine, but some are plastic and this one's metal. At the top, you have a hole at the top. You want to take a very soft cloth. Now I use a thin white handkerchief. Anything that's soft that will not scratch the inside or mess up the flute. You're going to take one end of this cloth and thread it through the hole. And then bring the cloth over the top to protect the end of the rod. Gently twist so you cover the entire rod with your cloth. I like to dry out just one piece at a time. Your foot joint will not be uh, very damp on the inside, but sometimes you do need to dry that out. So carefully take off your foot joint and dry one end very gently. If the cloth slips off, simply recover and have it ready. Go ahead and place your foot joint back into the case. We're going to do the part in the middle. You want to make sure that you're careful not to squeeze or press or twist these keys. You do not want to bend the rods or have the springs pop off. Remember these screws are very delicate. They can come out easily. So you want to make sure you're holding the flute where you can pull it off gently without pressing and putting any pressure on those keys. Then you're going to slide in the end. You're going to dry out the condensation. By drying out the condensation, you're saving your pads. You want to keep the pads of the flute dry. If you've played for a long time, it is going to be extremely wet. So you want to make sure that you twist and get that flute dry. And then you place it inside. And then we're going to do the head joint. It's very important on the end that you do not take off the screw without your teacher helping you. There's not a need to take that screw off. You want to be very careful with that and leave it on the end. Also, when we're drying this flute, the head joint are out. Do not ram it in hard. You want to just twist gently, dry it out. I also like to wipe off the end of it and get it nice and dry. You also may have a polishing cloth with your flute. Usually it's a light yellow color and you can wipe all of the fingerprints off after you finish playing. Thank you.